I think every good love story is complicated, and my love for Kentucky is complicated, too. There are aspects of it that frustrate me, but I love it in spite of those frustrations. And I think that's a real love, you know, when you love something, even when it's not completely perfect. Sometimes I feel like Kentucky doesn't love me back properly, but mostly I always feel like Kentucky is a balm for me. It's a tangible thing. You know, I can go out into the mountains, to a creek, the land where I grew up, but it's also intangible. It's like overhearing people who are talking with a particular cadence and knowing that I'm home when I hear that. Being a Southerner, being a Kentuckian, being an Eastern Kentuckian, all those things were a big part of my childhood. And um, it was really instilled in me to be proud of those things growing up, you know? And so I think when I think of the culture I grew up in, I think of a lot of joy, but the rest of the world thinks of a lot of despair. And I always, I'm always so confused by that, you know? Um, and so I can pretty easily explain to you why a piece of media is stereotypical. One reason will be because it's devoid of joy. It's just all about the despair, you know, and it's not, it's not about the complexity. When you're from a place that most of the world is, has disdain for, I think it makes you prouder to be from there because I think you sort of focus in on the best parts of it, you know, and you love it more. For me, the most foundational part was that it's a storytelling culture. You could be, you know, sitting on the porch with your granny and she would drop a story out of nowhere. And it was just um, an innate part of life. I think storytelling is essential. It's foundational. We have a craving for stories in our DNA. From the beginning of time, people were sitting around fires telling stories to each other, you know? So there's a reason that we need stories to be told to us.